Hello there. I'm standing in the memorial garden at St Giles and you can see some of the flowers behind me. Um, I've been interring some ashes this afternoon and I've been reflecting a little bit about that and on the last couple of days. It's been two days of huge contrasts for me. Um, contrast in the weather. Yesterday, which was the day of the funeral, um, for the person whose ashes I've just interred was a day that was grey and uh, wet and and not not a nice day you might say in terms of weather and yet today has been beautiful it's bright sun and crispy and uh, it's promising to be a gorgeous sunset in a little while but contrast in another way too yesterday obviously we had this funeral and it was Funerals are always sad in their own way, but but this one was one of those that was particularly sad and that the person who's died really has died too young, um, leaving a son who's not long into adulthood, who lost his own father when he was only a small child. Um, leaving parents, parents having to bury their own children just somehow doesn't seem right, does it? It was a day of deep sadness and I felt deeply, deeply sad for this family at the same time as also reminding them that actually death is not the end. But it has been a time of sadness and yet also yesterday um, at the end of my day I was leading the Advent course and we were talking about prayer and some of the things that we pray about and one of the people that was in my group was saying at the moment her prayer is focused on thanks because at the moment her life is full of joy and she was able to recognise that she's in such a good season of life and would be so grateful for that. And so together with those kind of feelings of sadness yesterday was also that time of being able to rejoice with somebody for whom life at the moment is good. And it's just brought home to me afresh, I think, especially this afternoon as I was in the beauty in turning these ashes, this beautiful day, as opposed to yesterday taking a funeral uh, when we walk out at the end and it's raining. Just being reminded that life is a life of contrast. It's a life of season. There is a time for mourning, but there is also a time for rejoicing. And, and we go through these seasons in life and and obviously autumn is actually a season when we remember that as we see the leaves falling and dying and yet we know that life will come again. We're also in the season of Advent when we look forward to Christmas and um, this video is going to be going live just before Christmas itself, Christmas Day. And I know that some of you will find Christmas really hard this year. Maybe you've lost somebody over this last year. And I hope that you'll come to our Blue Christmas service um, on Wednesday the 22nd, if that's you, because we're doing a service especially for people who find Christmas hard. But I want to remind you too that remember that that part of, of life and part of the rhythm that God has given us is that we can have that promise and that assurance that, yes, there will be times of pain and suffering. We know that. We see that in the gospel story but we can trust too that there will also yet be times of joy. There will be seasons of rejoicing. And so as we journey together through Advent and into Christmas, let's remember that whatever season of life we're in, we can trust that God is with us in it. If it's a season of joy, rejoice. If it's a season for you of mourning, well, as you mourn, mourn, with the reminder and the hope that there will yet be a season of joy.